Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew. Today, I will be reading from the r slash Entitled People subreddit. So let's jump into it. Entitled mother demands I give her my money. I should give a little backstory first. My parents had divorced when I was 10. I'm now 20 because my dad found out she was cheating when she told him that my brother and sister, who were 7 and 8 at the time, weren't his. When asked for her reason to cheat, she said that she found a man who was able to give her the high life, unlike my dad, a farmer, just trying his best to maintain a family while managing my grandfather's farm. When discussing custody over me in court, my mom said she wanted nothing to do with me and left my dad with full custody while she took my brother and sister with her and then married her side piece a month after everything was finalized. Of course, with the rise of social media, she only includes me in family photos to make herself look good, even though she just tosses me to the side afterwards. I don't even have a relationship with my siblings because they look down on me for classist and petty reasons. Now with that out of the way, on with the show. It was about 7.30 a.m. I was feeding cattle and having a jam session when my dad came out to the feedlot to tell me someone was here to see me. I asked him who it was, but I didn't need him to answer me once I saw the angry look on his face as he throws a cigarette he had failed to light. I hop off the tractor and go walking around the farmyard until I spot a brand new Porsche with my mother sitting in the driver's seat. To describe what she looks like, imagine someone did a shitty job doing James Charles and Jeffree Star's heaviest makeup routine at the same time. A Karen haircut with only the blondest of highlights and a spray-on tan that would make Trump look pale. I often wonder if she'll ever do a face reveal just so the world could see the hunk of Swiss cheese under all that. I walk up to her car and very politely say hello to her before she wrinkles her nose and looks at me in disgust. Don't you have anything better to wear besides those filthy rags? And take that wad of chewing tobacco out of your mouth. Honestly, I'm embarrassed that you're my son looking like that. Uh, these are work clothes. And I was working, and I just put this chew in. It ain't even kicked in yet. Besides, what do you want? She looks me up and down with a disgusted look again before taking a deep breath before speaking. I need to ask a favor of you. In fact, it's rather important. The only thought going through my head, she's part of a cult and needs me to be a blood sacrifice at tonight's meeting. Well, what is it? See, your sister is going to be graduating this year and I think it would only be fair if you gave her the money your grandfather left you since you obviously don't need it. I know what she's after now. My grandpa had put aside 25k for each grandchild that, once they turn 18, they can use for college, buying a car, whatever. The only catch was, you needed to either graduate high school or obtain a GED. Now, why would she be wanting this money, you ask? Well, I'll tell ya. She had asked my grandpa after the divorce that not only should her kids, my brother and sister, still get the money, but also he needed to beef it up a few grand. My grandpa, out of spite, took the money originally meant for them and put it all in mine and told her only his actual grandkids get the money. A few years later when he passed away, my dad had added some of his inheritance into it. So when I graduated, I ended up with 93k. I have since spent 27k out of it on a tractor and put the rest in savings where I add on to it every paycheck. Why would I give her any of my money? She doesn't even speak to me anymore. Because it would only be fair since your grandpa denied her that money that she deserves since she'll be attending college unlike you. Plus, as her big brother, you need to be responsible. That money was left to me for me to use on what I wish. Besides, if she wants it, she needs to ask me herself instead of you telling me to do so. She doesn't need to ask you. In fact, I shouldn't be asking you either. But since your grandfather was an asshole and you weren't caring enough to hand it over before, here I am. Aren't you guys already paying for her college? So why must I give her some too? Well, you see, I'm paying for tuition and housing, but she 
still needs spending money. She shouldn't be working a low-level job to have money for fun. Then give her spending money too. But I'll already be spending a lot, as college is expensive. Won't you just do this for her? No, I won't. And since when has something been too expensive for you? Just make your side piece work harder, like you did in the past, when you wanted something big and flashy. How dare you speak to me like that? I'm your mother, and you should be thankful I gave birth to you. Even just a little bit will help. An idea came to mind. I falsely apologized to her and said she was right. I should give her something. I told her, I'm going to run to my truck and grab the checkbook, and off I went. Once I was at my truck, I proceed to dig through the cup holders for pennies, because every little bit helps, right? Once I've gathered 20 or so pennies, I walk back and tell her to hold her hand out and dropped the pennies in them with a smile. What's this? You said a little bit could help a lot, didn't you? So I thought you could have that. This isn't what I meant. A few thousand is more what I had in mind. She then throws the pennies at me and starts blaring the horn, screaming at the top of her lungs that I give her what she asked for. Honestly, where is a pokeball when you need one? Because this one needs to be trained professionally on how to act. I'm just standing there watching her go on as she's demanding money and calling me everything under the sun when she finally goes quiet as I hear my dad yell out from somewhere, shut the F up you bitch. Taking this moment, I look back at her and say, you never said thank you. F you and you will give your sister what she deserves. When you do a face reveal, I will. She told me to go F myself and sped off. And that was the end of it. That's all for this episode, folks. Until next time, remember to pick up your popcorn containers and leave the theater in an orderly fashion. The mental gymnastics of these entitled people is astounding. So she wanted him to give his paternal grandfather's inheritance to whom she's not related to, to win a fair child that also isn't related, so she could not work while in college? Yes, definitely makes sense. Meanwhile, OP is out here busting his ass in the agricultural industry, which is just as important as going to college, if not more important in most cases. This mother definitely gets a great googly moogly. Anyway, I saw a few comments that cracked me up that I just need to read for you guys. Tell her to find a richer guy to sleep with next time. Tell her if her daughter wants spending money, she should do what her mother did get on her knees and open her mouth for a rich asshole. Well, seeing as the affair with the rich asshole produced two children, I don't think that's exactly what she was doing, but better advised for the classist daughter. These people shouldn't be breeding. I see what you meant there. <laughs> A bit crude, but true, and well-deserved nonetheless. But anyways, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this Entitled People story. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do, and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!